Hello everybody, Chaplain Bob here. This is going to be real short. Now, please understand, I don't claim to be a prophet, and, uh, you know, I normally don't beg for money, so uh, what can I tell you? It's just some thoughts. When, in the end of 1989, I came to the Lord, and I was reading the Bible, 1990, took me a couple of months to get through the Bible, and I was doing a lot of Bible studies, and I had just read the book of Revelation chapter where it talked about, you know, 666, the mark of the beast, and I asked the Lord to please show me what it was. Well, I felt a lot closer to the Lord back then, but um, I used to get the newspaper, and uh, I'm sitting there reading the newspaper, and there was a picture of a member of the tribe, a veterinarian, putting an implantable chip into a dog. So I was like, wow, that was something. Now, they're putting ch chips into passports. They're putting chips into bank cards, whether ATM or credit cards. And uh, they are putting chips into animals. My dad had a dog that had a chip. And uh, he took it to the vet. And the vet re tried to read this chip. And uh, the, the vet says, oh, yeah, this dog's got a chip. And, and my dad was like, well, who does he belong to? He goes, I don't know. Uh, he says, I can tell there's a chip there, but it's, I can't read it. He says, this is a military chip. So it was a military dog. And every time a helicopter or an airplane would go over, the dog would watch it incessantly. I mean, would watch, would watch the sky. And uh, anytime there was any kind of loud noises or like fireworks, boy, she would uh, run into the bathroom and climb into the tub she was she was shell shocked i mean she was a military dog she'd saw action probably in iraq you know she was a really sweet dog i loved her um but uh there are people that have been uh, getting chips too now there's a company uh called well i don't know what they're called now i could look it up but uh digital angel a digital angel if you ask me it's probably one of the fallen angels uh you know the dragon's tail drew a third of the angels what was that revelation chapter 12 i believe possibly i forget but uh they call it digital angel it's about the size of a grain of rice and they implant it and there's been a number of people that have been getting these chips. Uh, they're using these chips for identification. They're using these chips for uh, security doors, electronic security doors. Uh, perhaps you've been to a hotel that no longer uses keys, but they have a like a credit card that you swipe at the door and it opens up. Oh, yeah. Now, just imagine. Suppose they took the bank card chip and merged it with the passport or your uh, driver's license chip merged them together all the information and um, you know people can lose a credit card people can lose a passport but it's kind of hard to lose your right hand or in the forehead and you know what if you cannot buy or sell without it and of course, you know, that'll be a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. It would be pretty hard to argue that that wouldn't be the chip, uh, the mark of the beast. I don't know. I'm not saying it is, but to me, it is the most likely candidate at this time. Uh, those that are pushing all this Sunday worship stuff, I think they're either misled or disinformation agents. But what can I tell you? Uh, 
all the new driver's licenses that are with the real ID. Um, they are, they have a chip. So your driver's licenses have chips, your passports have chips, and your bank cards and credit cards, ATM cards all have chips. So what would happen if they merged everything together and you couldn't buy or sell without it? And oh, by the way, this uh, stimulus package for the corona thing, well, guess what? Um, the Federal Reserve Bank is mandating, well, they're talking about it. I don't know if they're going to mandate it or not, or, or if it's just throwing up what's called a trial balloon, but they're talking about cryptocurrency. You know, they're not, they're talking about not printing money anymore. And of course, uh, paper money can spread disease, right? Bad thing during the corona thing. I mean, there's actually businesses now that are actually refusing to take cash. Can you imagine that? Suppose that was worldwide. Oh, you got to pay with your chip card. Oh, okay. You can't buy or sell without your chip card. We don't take cash anymore. Uh, okay. You can't buy or sell without it. Hmm, 666. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So let's, uh, I want to read an, a short article from Wicked Wikipedia. Uh, I call it Wicked, W-I-C-K-E-D, Wikipedia. It says, a passport is a travel document usually issued by a country's government to its citizens that certifies the identity and nationality of its holder, primarily for the purpose of international travel. Standard passports may contain information such as holder's name, place, and date of birth, photograph, signature, and other relevant identifying information. Many countries have either begun issuing or plan to issue, issue biometric, biometric passports that contains an embedded microchip, making them machine-readable and difficult to counterfeit. As of January 2019, there are over 150 jurisdictions issuing these e-passports. Uh, previously issued non-biometric machine-readable passports usually remain valid until their respective expiration dates. So there you have it, people. Take a look at all the, the pictures I've posted. Uh, if you want, look it up. That's just my opinion. Um, I think it could easily be the Mark of the Beast 666. I don't know. And you know what? The image of the beast that both speaks uh, and give, you know, the image of the beast that speaks. I always think of television. But uh, yeah, that's the image of the beast, if you ask me. So. All right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.